the recording now? Welcome to the Know Nothing Know It Alls, where we know nothing, yet we know it all. So today's show, we're going to talk about... Oh, what was the first prank phone call? I think I know. You do? Enlighten us, okay. please. Alexander Graham Bell called... Wait, Alexander Grand Bell. I think it's Graham, isn't it? I thought it was Grand... I thought it was Alexander Grand Bell. Grand? I think it's Graham. I think it's Grand. We'll look that Grand up too. Bell. I'm gonna say Graham for now. I'm gonna say Grand. He <laughs> called Thomas Edison. Were they alive during the same period of time? And yeah, yeah. He said, is the light bulb in your refrigerator running? <laughs> and he said, what's a light bulb? You haven't invented it yet. Oh! <laughs> oh! <laughs> but on a serious note, I think the first prank call was Alexander Graham Bell calling the guy, the only other guy who had a phone at the time. Yeah, I definitely think he was a prankster. Uh -huh. I mean, <laughs> he probably invented the telephone just for that reason. Yeah, that's that what I'm a, thinking. Yeah. yeah, I think it was Alexander Grand Bell too. I'm sure that he made use of the telephone mm -hmm. to at least, you know, prank one of his buddies. Mm -hmm. What do you think about it? Why don't you vote on our website? We don't have we don't a website. Have <laughs> you can't do that. No, no we're going to look it up for you. If someone wants to make this website, though, hey. you know, that's fine. I don't we, I don't even know how to do that mm -hmm. at all. I still have a 56k modem. It takes us forever to upload this video. Yeah. yeah. Okay, so we're going to look it up, and you stay put. We'll be back soon. You know, yeah. Put down that remote. We're back after doing our very intensive research. Mm -hmm. What I found out is that the first prank phone call was way back in 1884. And this was eight years. Yes, it took eight years before someone decided to make a prank phone call. And this was eight years after Alexander Graham Bell. Graham yes. Bell! Dave is right. I thought my whole life. <laughs> That's why I wear these suspenders because I was at the day with right suspenders. <laughs> <laughs> Too much. <laughs> actually, I was just joking about that. I didn't actually. He really that. thought that. No. Uh-uh. David, he's no. dumb. He's that dumb. was to make the audience think I was stupid. It happened way back in 1884. And it was actually to undertakers in Providence, Rhode Island. Mm -hmm. The prankster decided that he thought it would be funny if he called the undertakers to make candlesticks, coffins, and freezers for the reported dead. But it turned out that these people weren't actually dead. Mm -hmm. So they made all these things, which back then in 1884, I'm sure was a lot harder task than it is now. Mm -hmm. And it turns out these people weren't even dead. So. It's actually pretty horrible. I thought it was going to be something a lot lighter, like, you know, what David said earlier. Yeah, yeah it was, that was, I, I'm a little bit disappointed because he was a learned man. And, um, wasn't he a professor? Is what I read? A... No, he was not a professor. That's who unearthed the facts. Well, okay. Anyway, yeah. it was a waste of technology. A waste of technology. Yes. I mean, yeah. That. So, David, have you ever, I'm sure the audience is dying to know, have you ever made a prank phone call on someone? Uh, yes. Please, tell us the story. I made a prank phone call one time on, um, I don't remember who it was. I asked for somebody and I told them to shut up, I think. That was me. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> I didn't even think you remember that because the story is, and remember, I was a little bitty kid. He was 14. I was not. <laughs> maybe I was 14. You were 14. But David was at my house, and I thought it would be funny to make a prank phone call. A lady answered the phone and said, Hello. I said, Is David there? And she said, There's no one do by that name. And I said, well, shut up, and hung up the phone. And I thought it was really funny at yeah. the time. But Little did we know that the invention caller ID had just been uh, marketed. Yes. And she had one of those. Actually, I think she star 69 us because I don't think the caller ID had been invented yet. It was back, way back. We had like one of those kind of like, like hey, yeah. what is this? Let's crank it. Yes. Yeah. Well, my brother answered the phone, and 
she told him the story and I got in some big trouble for that. So I do not recommend prank phone calls. It was my it was my last prank phone call and you know I'm ashamed and don't recommend it. It wasn't it wasn't funny no. at all. Well that's gonna end today's show. Yes. So if you like this show, please like it and also subscribe to subscribe it. to our channel if you'd like to see more videos. We usually post videos on late Monday night. And leave suggestions of what you want to know. We know it all. Yeah, we may not know it all. <laughs> exactly. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and, and um, also, if you don't like this video, we are going to somehow find your numbers and prank phone call you all. Yeah. Booze! So, you know, well, it'll probably be us, like, sobbing and asking you why you didn't. Like our video. Yeah. That's probably the honest truth. So. Like yeah. our video. Resistance is futile. <laughs>